John with Roundabout Woodworks and before I get to the topic of this video I want to address my last video where I was uh, so focused on getting a clean cut on the outside of the bowl and by focused I mean I was trying to get the edge of the gouge at the right orientation to the surface I neglected to cut in the correct direction one of the fundamentals of wood turning. On face grain you cut from the small diameter to the large diameter and normally I do that. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do it on that one and uh, I don't know why I did it on video. Uh, but I did and I was able to sand my way out of trouble uh, but it would have been much better had I done it and had I cut in the correct direction. And it's interesting or funny because when I did this bowl immediately after, but not on video, I just did this one for myself, uh, I thought, wow, this is from the same tree, the same log. I'm getting a much better finish under the tool here than I was on the other one. Wow, I wonder why that was. And then I thought, well, because I was doing the other one wrong, I'm doing this one right. So, the, you know, pay attention to the fundamentals. You can break the rules if you have a good reason. I didn't have a good reason. Uh, yeah. Anyway. So this video is about, uh, it's a continuation of the, my microwaving experiment. And uh, started hollowing. And uh, as I got closer and closer to the bottom, I started to see discoloration. And then when I got to the bottom, there's a hole burnt in it. And uh, it was disappointing. Uh, very light, lovely, nice shape on the outside. There's a hole burnt in it. And. Uh, I didn't know this was possible. When I took it out of the microwave the last time, I assume this happened on the last time I microwaved it because it smelled really good, but it didn't smoke. Uh, I guess because it was inside the wood, it, smoke couldn't escape. Anyway, uh, I'm going to fix it. Uh, I still have one piece of wood. I'm going to make a lid be a, a small lip on the lid where it'll fit inside, match the profile here inside the, the bowl, and kind of continue the shape of the outside. Uh, but for the bottom, I'm going to cut a plug. I'm going to cut this out, put a plug in it, but I might do a, a longer plug for a foot, but I haven't decided yet. But I'm not going to do that on this video. This video is not going to be any turning. And I apologize if you wanted to watch a short video about turning. Uh, which reminds me. I don't know how much time you want to spend watching a video of me turning. I'm shooting for less than half an hour of finished video. And sometimes in order to make that arbitrary uh, time limit that I've set, uh, I speed up the video on repetitive stuff. Uh, like yesterday's video, there was about an hour of uh, assembled video and then I started going through cutting and speeding up, trying to make, uh, make a video less than half an hour because but I watch lots of long videos, but I have time sometimes to do that. I don't know how much time you have. If you want to see videos longer, uh, let me know. If you want to see them shorter, wow, I don't know if I can help you. Uh, I could try doing some small, shorter, I could try doing some smaller projects, but uh, I just, wood turning takes time and watching, you know, if you were here in the shop, I don't think you'd probably 
give it much thought, stand here for an hour and watch me turn or turn yourself or whatever it is. But, uh, how long do you want these videos to be?